Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Clio for Clients, the client portal and mobile application from Clio Manage. A while back, I was given a walkthrough of the application and got to see what it looks like from the client's perspective. Take a look and see what you think. All right, well, uh, yeah, if you don't mind, walk us through some of it. Sure. So uh, the first thing I want to walk through was how you get started. So um, what I have open here is a matter in Clio. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're not fam familiar with Clio, um, uh, you can input all of your matter and contact information. And I've created a, a sample matter here, for my client, Emily, who's got a real estate uh, matter. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the communications tab and to the client portals tab. Uh, you can see that no client portal has been created yet. And it's super simple to get started. You just click new client portal uh, and create the client portal. And to actually uh, you know, send that first invite over to your client, you just need to send them a message or a document. And that's all you need to do to get them onboarded to the client portal. Okay, so that you're going to send them a message or a document. Is that going to send them an email um, that that is going to have them download that app, or are they going to download that app and then this is going to be connected to them? Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so they're going to get an email, mm -hmm. and uh, in the email is going to be uh, what we call a magic link, um, and we can actually switch over to mobile, and I will show you that. Okay. All right, so uh, now I'm showing this from the client's perspective. So I'm in Emily's email here, and you can see that she's received an email from her lawyer, Robert, mm -hmm. with a new message. And uh, she can open that message and click the link to open the portal and see that message. So it's opening up here in the browser. You can see optimized. Mm -hmm. I will also show you the app so, so to well, sorry yep. while you're doing that the the magic link means that they don't have to um enter a password or something like that this just we know this is your email you're going to go directly into this exactly so they don't have to create and remember a new password which as we know can be challenging to remember so many passwords right. uh they just have to know their email password uh and then they can access uh, through their email. It's much like if you go to a web page and click the forgot my password and it mm -hmm. emails you a, a new link. It's kind of like that without having to need the password. Um, yeah, and then uh, another thing to note, those links expire after an hour. So um, there's an a, like added level of security there, mm -hmm. uh, but the client can always go and resend a new email if it's if they haven't logged in within that hour. Okay. Okay. So, um, so to log in the app, I just put in my email, and then going back over to my email account, got that link to sign into the portal. Mm -hmm. um, and there I am. This is the app. And another cool thing that you can do with the app is set up. Uh, privacy lock. So depending on the device, either face ID or touch ID. Mm -hmm. And now um, anytime I want to open the app, I don't need to do that. I don't need to trigger an email. Um, I can just right. use the face ID. Okay. So the app is actually just using the security features that the, that the phone has on it already. And that's exactly. going to, it has that layer of security, but it takes away that kind of layer of inertia um for the for the client to to get into there they just open it up like they would open a normal app exactly yep yep super easy uh and we can see that message that i just shared okay yeah so. and so the, these messages are going to be going over ssl protocol they're going to be secure from from one end to the other this is better certainly more secure than sending a text message from you to your your client definitely so um everything shared uh, uh through clio for clients is encrypted mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, in transit and at rest. Uh, so more secure than text messages and often more secure than email, uh, especially if you're using, if your client's right. using a free email, um, they're typically not as secure. So uh, highly recommend using a secure portal like Clio for clients uh, to share sensitive information, which typically lawyers are sending a lot of sensitive information. That, that's right. And that's that's something I actually talk on a lot is is making sure that you're sending your information in a secure fashion. And this is this is certainly one of those. And for people that, that don't know exactly the secure in transit means when it's going from one device to another device while it's, you know, moving over the the Ethernet over all those public things, wires and computers. And then also when it's secure at rest, it means that where it's sitting, where it's being stored it's encrypted there also. So when it's, it, for example, if it's on an AWS server somewhere, that the information on that server is encrypted. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, you're totally right there. Uh, I think channels like te text messaging is great if you've got to send a quick note, like reminder about an upcoming meeting or just a like quick status update with no private information. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you need to send any sort of sensitive information, this is the, the best uh, channel to be doing that. Absolutely.